Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to use Calendly, which is an online software that used for scheduling and appointment creation. So let's get into it. So you can see this is the home page of Calendly, and they basically streamline your workflow and make appointments without having to deal with messy emails. So you can see over here that you are just going to sign up using your email. You don't need to add any credit card information because this is a free software. That's a very good thing about Calendly. You can streamline all of your work with without having to pay for extra services you are just going to set up your accounts uh, using google and you can even interrogate your google calendar into calendly which is a very great feature so i'm just going to set up my account and i will get back to you guys in a minute now once you have entered some of your personal details countlessly is actually going to ask you your usual available hours so you are just going to select the uh, usual times that you are available on so calendly can set up meetings on those times without constantly asking you for permission and having you to constantly check your calendar and confirm my meetings and all that hassle you are going to give uh, currently a set time that you are available so let's just say you are only available between 4 to 5 pm for meetings but you are available seven days a week you are going to continue with that and then you are gonna personalize your experience by adding your day-to-day -day role at work so what kind of specific job title you have and you are going to add that so maybe you are a person that is in education and maybe you are a teacher or student or even a helper maybe a lab attendant maybe a teacher's go you know a teacher's shadow and now you are just gonna see calendly dashboard it's not very overwhelming uh, it does not bombard you with all these kinds of tabs it's pretty neat at the top you will see your home availability interrogations help and then your account details okay so then you have over here your my calendars you have your event types and your schedule events and your workflow so you can see add your event types you can have 30 minute meetings so let's just say you want to set up a new event or a meeting anything of that sort you just going to click on a event type you are going to set what kind of event it is so if it is one-on-one -on -one thing if it group kind of meeting you are just going to create it then you are just going to name the event uh, you can add the location if you want this is a very different option that they provide so you can set a specific address if you are meeting in person but if it's just a phone call meeting you can add that as well google meetings uh, you can have zoom meetings you can have microsoft meetings go to meetings any kind of custom platform that you are using uh, or you can may even ask the person inviting to the meeting that how they might want to be contacted uh, for this meeting so let's just say we are doing a zoom meeting it's going to allow me to do that it's very e easy to interrogate stuff you just click on interrogations and then you can you know add any of these softwares that you are using for your business or your your just personal organization you can add any of these and interrogate them i have not done that but it's just very easy just click on it like that and then you can connect zoom and then you will be easily able to add that i'm just gonna add it as a in-person meeting and let's just say you can add a summary or anything that you might want to tell about the event then you can add an event like a link so whatever kind of web page uh, you might want to create for this event then you ha also have your event colors you might want to keep it uh, in the blues and grays don't go for pinks or purples uh, and if it's something urgent you might want to make it red let's just keep it green let's just click on the next let's just say you want it to happen within the next two weeks you are gonna apply that so within this day you want this meeting to actually happen and then you are gonna set the duration of this meeting so let's just say you want it to be a 13 minute meeting now if you want to offer your availability for this event you can use your existing schedule or add customers so as we previously picked our own availability we picked it as 4 to 5 pm we are just gonna use existing schedule and then you are just going to add a time before or after your event so if you want to add that some you know extra time maybe the assistance needs to be present before their ceos arrive or maybe you know security needs to be clear after the people leave anything like that you can add that over here and then you are just gonna click on next and this is the invite it is uh, ready to accept you know invites people can join the meeting and they can see the timing that and the details but the description is now also there are a lot of additional options you can answer invite questions so if they are frequently asked questions you can answer it by adding any extra information that you might want to so if someone has to present a presentation or someone has to do something specific for the meeting you might want to add that over here and add the guests let them know beforehand
clients they are well prepared for your meeting they can also be a payment method added to your meeting you can also have a confirmation page so people can confirm if they are actually going to be going to be joining you or not and then you also have your notification that just if you want to be notified if someone is coming to your meeting or if they are not so that is just to set up your events uh, on Calendly and now taking a look back at their basic dashboard now you have a hang of how to create these events just delete these automated events that they create at the start when you are just creating your account and and create your own events and now just like that you can create more events and let's just say that you want to create a new event once more then you can add it as a group event let's just say it's it's for sales and you can you can say it, it's just custom updated and your description it might be since we are doing sales let's just say strategy the event link and the max invites so how many people do you want to invite to this event especially so maybe let's just say we have maximum 12 slots available and now you want to display you can choose if you want to display remaining spots on the booking page you are going to click on the next i am going to set up your duration your calendar days or if you want it to be indefinitely uh, into the future if you want it to be within the next 60 days the future or if you want it to be within a certain date range so maybe you want it uh, want this meeting to occur between the last two weeks you can use your existing schedule maybe on sundays for this meeting you are not available but you are going to be available from 3 30 and then on fridays you are gonna be available till 7 and that's how you can change your weekly hours for a certain event or you can just use your standard ones but if this is a special event you can change your weekly hours now you can also add a buffer before or after your event uh, buffer is just the intermediary time between your events and this will just separate your event from other stuff that's happening now you are just going to click on next and then you have it saved so people can just click on your link and then can select a date and then they can see these ports are that available they can click on 430 and confirm then they can add their name and email and any question that they might have to schedule their event with you or within the grip so that's how easy it's gonna be to use calendar for your management now another tip that i want for you guys is to make sure that you actually set up your account so don't leave it blank go to your account settings and make sure to actually upload your picture and add your welcome message your language your date your time format customize it with what you want and what you can see on the left side there's a branding and make sure you can actually add your branding and make sure to make it look professional make it look serious and make it look like your actual business portfolio don't treat it as just a side thing make sure that people actually know this is you and they don't think that this is some kind of weird third party app that you just recommended to them so this will just make it look authentic so that was it for you guys i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and you are now able to streamline all of your work using calendly so i will catch you guys in the next video